be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scrap. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> I go to all that trouble for this. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait!
Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake, or yours. Who put you up to this? Answer me, or I let go. But you won't, I... Bye, Bat. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. is not used to such a ringing endorsement. And even too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. <laughs> if only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Yo, can you guys hear me now? Um. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Shut up, Thank you. Thank you again, You're on the stream, so shut up. Support. Don't say anything stupid on the stream. We will change Gotham. Ty, I've checked if you comment. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner yeah. everyone will leave you alone. Just working the night shift. Well, well, then you're pulling a double. No one came here tonight to see me. Mm -hmm. I want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? Oh. <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. I hate Only using all this time. I want to get into the fighting bit, man. Flipping your Harvey Dent. We all know you turned into Two Face later in the story. You're just doing now, man, you big. The grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham. A place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. And now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, our hope is in Harvey? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm going to use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. Yeah, that is free until from flipping crime. later. Bruce the streets streets again. Again. That's what I want too, Harvey. Flipping but you know how even. rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. I already played this game once. I'm just doing it again because I have a new account and I need to get the platinum trophy. Collect the platinum trophy. Who's outside now? Oh yes, I'll just need to be the best. Shall he do that? Oh, Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, Michael. whoever you support is a reflection on you. Well, thank you. But we're all to here tonight well, because we want to make a difference. Well, and that's what it's going to take. Well, Every well, single one of us. Well, first, not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. 
course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Shut sure, up, man! You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. <laughs> There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous okay. mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark he, of hope can He's actually all humble, but you know oh, inside that he actually hates account. He'll be broke before Batman, election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce you know would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. <laughs> I don't doubt that for a moment. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Okay. Yeah, tragedy like of course, that, he's not, it's such of course I'm gonna freaking feel sad if he keeps flipping the point about how bad he is. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe. Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Okay. Well, thank you. Begs. I wish my parents oh, could be, be slapping him up. with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. And okay, reporter. okay, okay. See this Vicky Vale girl, isn't it? For the Gotham Gazette. Keep this is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. Here, because no reporters allowed. Let's you don't mind say, if I stay and ask a few you, questions? Do let's you, just Mr. say she's the well, you can ask me biggest character. The press conference and tomorrow. she's the biggest Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he Beg certainly doesn't have any time either. The world. I hate her. You'll find out why in a bit. Not in a bit, at the end you'll find out. Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it looks like... Spilled some water. Yo, Tyler, check alcohol. the new comment! I'm stick to clear alcohols, Bruce. I never stay. Fine, I'll do it myself. I do excuse me, Master Bruce, but... Uh, Another guest has arrived. I'm sure. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Yes, you should be. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> well, you played this game. What kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least to hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harv. But I'm trusting you. I know, because at the end, that Vicky Bruce. Vale girl, Seriously. you know what happens, isn't it? You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, I'll just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. I ain't gonna flip play nice with this bed. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. Shut I think I'll take up, it. Mate. It's not for sale. Though the day oh, you can't afford it. Eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Yourself, I ain't shaking on me. Yeah, they either um, shoot, they either shoot Albert's eye, or they see Gentlemen, you video. Really perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Just kill this guy right here, man. You, you kill him in like, you should know, Mr. like a Falcone, couple episodes. My today. analysts so say we're raising that? triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce, you'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few Harvey minutes. Harvey comes with me, boy. Big Harvey up, stays boy, Harvey. with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? Come on, Falcone, my ass. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules... I don't fall. even know. Probably until late. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd oh, rather see how we actually the... help this city instead of just I'm gonna uh, get the platinum trophy. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still uh, it's do what's right. Batman to the Telltale point, series. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I... No more warnings. I ain't here to... But let me check the city here. Um, no, it doesn't say it. Chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me a I'll type up in the chat. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Yeah. Chop this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. Clubs. He don't even point any in, trash geezer. And I want to keep everything moving. And yeah, the, the people who made walking dead here. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. Oh, uh, shut up, bro. Who's going to be friends Dead with you, you fat pig? If need be. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked. Trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Shut money up. gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. The burgers Your for you. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Whatever you say. You're a good kid. You look like him, you know? It's nice that we understand each other. Shut up, bro. All you understand is flipping burgers. I'll show you that. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. Oh. I recommend seeing them out. Of course everybody's gonna leave once this fat bag comes hey, in. I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. For sale, me? What's this guy? A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. It's I'll be seeing you, Bruce, to this guy. While this city's still standing. He looks like Alex in 20 years. Batman, da 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 da, the Telltale series. Yo, what's your mod charge that you did with the, the juice world music in the back? 
It's me. Good. P apparently, he sleeps coming shortly. That's what he's told me. Yeah, school's good, man. He said that he's gonna get managed news because he got a bit tension or something. I don't know if he's trying to. she was really after oh now you have to do this hacking business and I remember this bit founders of Wayne Enterprise and my parents dad was a physician mom was a failure to our place family. They worked tirelessly to help uh, the less fortunate, setting up numerous charities and expanding the vast resources to improve the city and the citizens. Murdered in an attempted robbery by a man known as Joe Chill. No so rich people got killed by my mother. Uh, Alfred Pennyworth, the one from the girl, the first one. Nobody cares about these guys. Quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmoni was found on the side of the Wall Street Bridge. Sometime just before dawn, okay. causing traffic to back up for miles. The cops cut it down. Stations, they can be a bit tougher. Carmine Falcone, the worst kind of cops. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's society. overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed oh, weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees from the half prison, half mental hospital to 15 this year. Only three have been caught to date, but all the escapees highlight the rough, some would say inhumane conditions at the aging asylum. The latest, 44 year old twin Christine, brother and sister Leon and Valerie Muldoon, should be considered dangerous if found. Authorities are asking that you do not approach. Nearly fell off a building for this. <laughs> She leaves soon as he comes. Black takes effect today, making it possible for landlords to evict tenants immediately Eight and without cause. The new law was created to allow those cities to allow the city to modify and improve the city's Imagine how much these guys actually should spend to let. That's why that was so important. So I actually come in slightly or you just trying to basketball court and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. I'll be worse, easy. the best outcome is that no yeah. one ever finds out so, you've done uh, it. has your teacher yeah, told you when he's gonna noticed. take it in? Uh, though not me unappreciated. Me. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. Can these just shut up? And what are we looking at? Let me the try a different angle. Bit. It was a metaphor. What am I supposed to be looking at? This is 
is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. <laughs> hmm. so? Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same oh, couldn't you. be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Oh, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. Burglaries, but this game would be so much shorter if these are just shut up, low. man. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the Batman point. Door I don't want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. Yeah, I don't mean to. So I can't believe people argument, haven't found out. No that one's gonna figure it out now. Batman. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries. So did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. He plays on it's your. Oh crap! I even saw it. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, <laughs> arms dealing, boxing prison matches. stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Don't Oswald's crimes, numerous theories. they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but... <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Oswald Park. Cobblepot Park. So there's 25 parts of this and I've done Two of them. Jesus. How long is the stream going on? Let me see. Um, half an hour. Where are you, Oz? Okay. You don't need to look how old it is. I did this before. I don't really do much. Let's give you some change to be a good person. 
Thank you, sir. Probably got flipping in homeless by selling drugs, but okay. Watch, we're gonna get into a fight with these punks. <sighs> Great. Well, there's the statue, but no eyes. Beat it. Now they're gonna pull up behind me with shanks. I think. Well, it isn't what it used to be. When is, he gonna, when is that man going to pull up on me with a shank? I remember that. Oh, there we go. Now it's the time. Watch the wall of cash. But this goes through you. <laughs> man thinks he can take me down with a bloody pocket knife. You heard him, man. The hell are you waiting Try for? Try and take it, Go ahead. Try and take it. The hell do you say? End him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. Uh, the moment! Come here! I think that'll do! Boom. Bam. Stay down. Bap. Bada bap boom. This used to be a nice place to get. No lives like you don't belong. Wee. Head first to the such a motherfucker. Jesus. This is my park! Mine! Oh, you hear that? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce. You got a little, uh... Hey, good as new. <laughs> Woo! That was a right little scrap. I, I did. Nothing kickstarts All the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, I think I'm gonna have diabetes. To with the rubber yeah. situation here. Oh, thanks for oh, the when I go on the toilet I today, please. Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know. Like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. It's a nice Christmas holiday. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Glad they never saw it like this. Ah, this city chews right through people. Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnob and parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. 
Although, so if she... I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And it'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Yeah, the children of Arkham. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Okay, Chief. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? I'm here today because I want to heal Gotham to stop the culture of crime that's running our streets. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. My parents were heroes that night, and we can all learn from their sacrifice. 
Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. Yeah. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I know this is a sensitive subject, Mr. Wayne. I, I withdraw my question. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You and Mr. Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? <laughs> But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? How dare you? I just finished telling you about my parents' murder, and you accuse them of being, what, criminals? Have some decency. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. There's gotta be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide.
They broke the frame. The bags. Bruce, stay back. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. Bruce? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... I'm a bit busy right now, Miss Vale. As you can see, Gotham's finest, not the best house guests. Yeah, the kind who steal things. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can Yo. dig up whatever you need to fight this. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still allegations like this they they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me obviously the sender didn't identify themselves we have no idea who it could be i mean no one's even done their due diligence on this yet the press saw the fumble they grabbed the ball and ran well first guess Nosy reporters. The public's fascinated with you, Mr. Wayne. A scandal like this? It's a reporter's dream. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. 
Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no. Just glad you made it. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? Uh, it's Selena. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Nice to meet the real you. Don't say anything. Please. Hmm. We'll see. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor. The toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is... personal. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am, I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like 
consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. Selena, please give me the address. Oh, he says please when he wants to. Okay, Bruce, seeing as I'm screwed either way. My contact, he'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 133. Nothing left to bury. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert. Not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. It doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted.
white rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. No. That bad? Face slashed. Throat oh, torn open. that is flipping. Uh, sir, not natural causes then. Skylight Club. Well, let's see if that matches up to the sick. Let's go. Could be. Wait, what? Paid for. Oh, yeah, no, no. Which use of a mask? I know that you're used of a mask. School boy, you do not go to the mask. Wait. High, lull, high balls. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Okay, let's link this to this. This man's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? What the hell? What kind of stuff are these men using? Oh, no. I... Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Eh. Uh. Seen a bullet do that. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Let's go, find you. I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun store. Let's go. It appears military. 
there you go, we got one. See, I don't want to, and then this, this, this guy, eh? This should be a blow up face. Nah, that don't work. Like... Does he? Doesn't add up. Uh. Shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Finally, there we go. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. The snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's yeah. face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Never checked the comment. Have you located the shooter? No. Impact trajectories, the canister, and the dead cop. The shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. You know what control that is? Just to pick up that signature. So that's why you play Fortnite. Yo, if we get Both to drive that could street. have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Oh. Let's go. For a spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Hmm. Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go?
trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. me add your corpse to this graveyard. Belconi, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. If you're gonna hit me, hit me! <laughs> Tell me! That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container! Uh. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! Some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Falcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I mean... I told you everything I know! You're an a- You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! I think I need to call the coroner instead. <laughs> Now put up your hands! Don't move! Batman! What did you do to him? Don't move! He confessed to everything. It's how you got it I'm worried about. You have the right to remain silent. Gordon... I said silent! If you say another word, I will shoot you. I don't care if half the city thinks you're a hero. Right now, you're a suspect. Put down the gun, detective. I'm on your side. Oh, yeah? It doesn't look like it. It will when you hear what I have to say. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. You're taking this too far, Bruce. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. Who gives a crap, bro? Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wade. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. 
I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... ...more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. The cops are on the front the lines of this Gordon. war. Gordon. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police, and Batman by any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. This is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. Thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. 
You and me both. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. And though you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Ooh, let's go. Oh. Add me as well to kick bunt. The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right, let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Make your round? Yeah, no broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burnt powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. Nothing here. guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down.
might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered out. So where's the last dog in here? Can we just chuck him off the balcony? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's beat the other one out now. Come on, man, we're done. What else do you do? Show yourself! You got no goddamn right to be here! You're shooting down to one to your feet. I want... Let's go. Straight in the back. Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Oh, let's go. I 
I see. This guy's dead. Answers now, or you fall. You wouldn't. All right, all right. The killers. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something reeks about this whole thing. And it is a dead bat! Trying to shank me? Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, alright? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal, because I. Did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ah. Gotham. Ah. 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 Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. <laughs> it's the wings. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You want to save this city? Well, the wings are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back, saying, This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. <sighs> but the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. Suit. A 
car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Jesus. Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Is that it for tomorrow? Yo. I'm gonna have to end the stream there. I'll be back tomorrow with another stream. Every single choice, right, except for the breaking the guy's hand inside the dark spit. <sighs> so, this is an actual. When your episode. parents died, left they left me as caretaker it now. of their estate, their son, but and their them. secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters, too. Wonder who he's after next. Hell of a view! Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to... distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. Play it this day. Nah. I ain't gonna do it. So, guys, this will be the end of the video here. So, this will be the end of the video here today, guys. So, see you guys tomorrow for another Batman review. Uh, and peace.